This is Herschel Park in Berkshire. It's just outside Eton, next to Windsor. It's one of those Victorian parks. Just been renovated recently. At the cost of a million and something, or maybe more than that. A lot of money, really. As soon as it seems like they've only... sorted out the water feature, the pond or lake, whatever you want to call it, and cut down a lot of trees, which I don't like. I prefer it when they keep the trees there. And uh, you know, they've put benches in and things like this, and there's another extended part of the area, which is like a, a nature trail sort of thing. I, d I don't know how it ended up being so expensive. <coughs> Um, these are Canada geese with their gosling this is the mother and father no doubt they tend to stick together like this you see a lot of them in Windsor but I've not seen a gosling, a baby Canada goose before and uh, I've passed this a few times so I thought I'd uh, capture it there's some beautiful trees in this park. I've actually taken quite a few photos here. I've taken photographs of the park and of a lot of the wild flowers in this park as well. In the nature reserve part of it, there's um, some beautiful poppies. Different colours, or maybe they're just at different stages, but very, um, very pretty. I'm recording on a uh, sound recording program and what I found happens is that the video lags behind the audio so whereas I'll be making a commentary on um, what I'm seeing what happens is uh, in the video editor it's behind in reality, so so when it comes to rendering it, they're 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 not synchronized properly, and I suppose the way I should overcome that is by just recording the video first and then uh, playing it in a video player rather than in the editor. Like what I'm seeing now is the bird has uh, the mother goose I expect has got into the water. They're just going past ducks now with the gosling as well. And the mother goose has just ducked her head into the water, fishing for something, I expect. Um, but I don't know whether you're seeing that. I will know once I've finished this. This park is, like I said, it's, it's a very pretty park. They've just renovated it, but already you have losers, you know, littering the place, leaving beer cans and things like that. And uh, that makes me pretty angry. Uh, you know, you can have a beautiful place, but it's the people that make it worth visiting or worth avoiding. And this is a thing, these areas tend to attract alcoholics, drunkards, drug addicts, drug dealers. And if that sort of thing was stamped out, then it would be a nice place for families to have picnics or let's say, peaceful, civilised people to have picnics and um, enjoy the place in tranquility. But the way things are, you can imagine someone getting disturbed here by some sort of criminal activity or so-called antisocial behaviour. Anyway, sorry, I know this is meant to be about the, the geese and I'm talking about the social ills that surround these places. Another question is whether to... is, is it what um, bitrate to render the video at? Because if you render it too highly, then the file size and the transfer time takes ages. But then when you start reducing the, the bitrate, then the, the picture can rapidly decrease and then you lose 
some of the high definition of the um, of the close-ups you have. So this is always a dilemma for me when I'm making my videos. And another dilemma that I have is making them too long. Uh, <laughs> anyone who's followed any of my videos in here is, prob is probably bored of some of them and probably doesn't feel like watching them because I have so much maybe excess footage in it. But it's because when you're filming, you you film a lot of footage and then you need to reduce it down. Sometimes it's it's not easy to know what to exclude and every viewer is different obviously someone who hasn't got much time obviously doesn't want to spend dozens of minutes watching these sort of videos where not an awful lot is going on but I mean if you're a bird watcher or if you're someone who has a great interest in Canada geese okay I don't know whether you can hear that rustling in the background but the cat is getting in in the bag <laughs> and uh, he's, he seems pretty happy in there anyway back to what you're seeing you can see the grass around the mouth of the the goose where he's been eating messy eater I'm seeing it now, I don't know whether you are, I'm zooming in right now, and you can and see like, uh, maybe water on the, on his head as well. One thing, maybe not of interest to you, but a little bit in my memory, I think I was attacked by a mother goose when I was young, when I was about maybe three or four or something like that, I think I was visiting a farm with my family and a, uh, I don't know whether I went near the the goslings or something and the the mother hissed at me and I think she bit me I think she bit me somewhere <laughs> and I, I think it gave me such a uh, fright I probably cried my eyes out I can't remember um, but I remember something like that happening although it's kind of hazy in my mind but I seem to get bit by animals quite a lot I um, I was bitten by a dog not that long ago, a few years back, riding past this black dog who seemed a bit um, ex overexcitable, let's say, and then I was going past slowly, slowly and I thought, oh, well, he's not going to bite me, that's very unlikely, and then he came across and bit me on the leg. Not that hard, but it wasn't that much fun. And another time I was in a, uh, I was in a field <laughs> some giant horses came over to me and one of them kind of started to give me a look like he was trying to intimidate me and uh, I started to slowly get out of the field I couldn't run out and um, he was kind of pushing his head against my shoulder and kept looking at me at the, out the corner of his eye and um, it's just like, you know, if you'd kind of cause trouble with someone and see how they react. It was like behaving like that with me. And uh, I was worried that he was going to kick me and kill me or knock me out or something because this horse was giant and I didn't fancy it. And anyway, ended up, kept pushing me and then bit me on the shoulder. And I, I couldn't believe that. I thought, no, you know, I didn't even know that horses bit people. So, you know, I, I get bitten by animals, it seems. Maybe I deserve it. And, uh, even my parents' cat, one of them, they have a few, one of them, uh, whenever it sees me, it's like he wants to tear my head off, and I haven't done anything to him. I just go to put my hand out to stroke him, and the claws will come out in anger at me and uh, that's quite a scary experience believe it or not I'm sorry I'm talking about other things it's because I don't know much about geese and I'm unwilling to look it up I have many books on these things and of course you can always do the easy thing today Wikipedia or Google it but I thought what's the point if you want to know about geese, you'll go and find out about them. I just thought I'd capture this and uh, 
let you have a look, and if it's too long, then I guess you're not with me anyway, and then I'll be talking to myself, which is a common experience for me. Anyway, we're almost over. I tried to edit this video as much as I could, but again, it was difficult to know wh what to leave out. And so I only managed to cut out about a, a minute or just over a minute, something like that. I had three clips all together, so you'll see most of it. And I think I'm about to go. So bye bye.